हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज श्याम अनावाद एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द न्यू सीरीज अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज फंक्शंस फंक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यू विल फाइंड अ गुड फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दिस टॉपिक और दिस क्वेश्चन कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर इन वेरियस एग्जाम्स सो लेट सी वॉट इज फंक्शन फंक्शन वर्क्स लाइक एन ऑपरेटर यू कैन से लाइक एन इनपुट आउटपुट मशीन या सपोज यू हैव uh this this function so this this here this sign f of x usually usually you will find this as the function in the question okay f of x you may also get g of x h of x or so on yeah now <coughs> functions you can consider that as a machine which has an input and it will produce an output for example if you have f of x equal to 2x plus 1 that's equal to 2x plus 1 yeah now input of the function is this this inside the bracket with f the alphabet you have inside the bracket a variable that is input yeah so now here if the input this input is 3 if input that is x here in this case is 3 then what will be the output this is input and we need to see what should be the output now if you substitute x is equal to 3 you will have x is equal to 3 here that will produce 2 into 3 plus 1 what is 2 into 3 plus 1 Seven, right? What's the output? Seven. Yeah. Are you understanding this? So, function works like an input-output machine, where the input is the value of variable which you substitute there, and the output is the value of function, the entire function. Did you understand? Let's try once again. In case if you want to find out what is the value of f of one by three in this case. so you don't have to draw this box in the exam okay i'm just making it look visually easy to understand f of x that is equal to what 2x plus 1 here so x again input as per the question or okay, what you want to find out is f of 1 upon 3 that means the input is what x is equal to 1 upon 3 what do you need to do you need to substitute the value of x as 1 upon 3 it will look like 2 into 1 upon 3 plus 1 simplify this further thus 2 by 3 plus 1 will get you 5 by 3 right if you simplify this i hope you know how to simplify the fractions that will get you 5 by 3 so what is the outcome outcome is 5 by 3 Yeah, what's the output? Five by three. Output is five by three. All right. Are you are you getting this functions? Yeah. So don't get scared. Like if you are not from math background, it will look like an ugly symbol. F X bracket confusing, but it's not confusing. It's easy. Function is what input and output. Yeah. Whatever the expression that's that's the that is given as equal to the function. we need to substitute the value of the variable which is given here over here and find the out output right so i hope this is clear yeah let's try let's try a few more uh, such expression and understand the input output yeah so f of x equal to well why should i write the question again uh, all my students are intelligent enough to understand that the function here is x square plus 2x minus 1 and as per the question the first part i want the input to be minus 3 x is equal to minus 3 did, did you understand why why am i substituting x is equal to minus 3 because question said find f of minus 3 in f of x find in f of x find f of minus 3 that means 
we need to substitute x is equal to minus 3. So, the outcome, the output should be substituting x is equal to minus 3 here. So, minus 3 square plus 2 into minus 3 minus 1 simplified further that is 9 plus oh no minus minus 3 into 2 will be minus 6 minus 1 that is minus 7. So, 9 minus 7 is going to get you 2 yes 2 2 that is what that is equal to x that is equal to f of minus 3 equal to 2 output ok yeah. So, I hope you will not get scared with this symbol anymore f of x, g of x, h of x functions which has input and output. Yeah. You want to find out the expression for x for what f of x minus 1 what are they trying to say instead of x if you say if you use uh, instead of x if you substitute x minus 1 then what should be the output. So, obviously, the output will be in in form of variable itself because you are substituting another expression at the place of x. You are substituting x minus 1 another expression at the place of x right. So, you get f of x minus 1 what is the expression x square plus 2 x minus 1. I hope I don't you don't want me to write this expression again. I hope you are comfortable with that. Yes, so I have f of x minus 1 that will be x minus 1 square plus 2x minus okay 2x minus 1 minus 1. Simplify that further x minus 1 whole square will be x square minus 2x plus 1 yes yeah apply a minus b whole square we have studied that in basics of algebra i hope you remember that i you know whenever you come to the next uh, video of mine i assume that you have gone through the previous chapters previous videos okay so i will keep on giving the reference of those topics those concepts so uh, it will be a kind of a revision for you and for me it will be an assurance that you have gone through the previous chapters so that it will be easy for me to give the show the ex applications. Here yeah, simplify this x square here minus 2x open the bracket minus 2x plus 2x gone plus 1 minus 1 gone. So, what you have you have only minus 2 that is f of x minus 1 yeah that is the outcome that is the output right ok. Let us try one more one more now this time we got two variables two variables as inputs that is fine that is fine totally fine do not worry that is completely fine. So, f of x comma y and there we need to find out f of 2 comma 3. So, f of x comma y is equal to x square minus x into y plus y square. Now, if I want to find out f of 2 comma 3, you know I need to substitute x as 2 and y as 3. Let us see what do we get x as 2, y as 3, 3 square. Simplify that further 4 minus 6 plus 9. 4 plus 9, 13 minus 6, 13 minus 6 will be 7. Yes, that is f of 2 comma 3. No struggle, right? Simple, right? Yeah. And you know what? The good part is you do not get such kind of direct question in the exam. We are building concepts. You remember that is concept builder videos for functions. So, we will see the question, exam questions also soon. First, build your concept stronger. Now, here you got the function as f of x comma x minus 1, right? That means instead of y, we need to substitute x minus 1. So, no worries, x comma x minus 1. 
yeah here is the expression with us so if i substitute x as it will be x itself but only y will be replaced with y x minus 1 plus we got x minus 1 whole square right simplify further simplify further you got x square minus open the bracket x square plus x plus a minus b whole square that is x square minus 2x plus 1. Now, if you simplify this, you have this cancelled. Now, x plus x minus 2x will be minus x. So, you are going to get x square minus x and there is no change with the constant. So, as it is, that is the outcome. That is the output if you substitute y as x minus 1. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So, treat the function as what? Input output. A machine where you have input and then it produces some output. The output depending on the expression which the function represents. Right. So, in the next video, in the next lecture, we are going to discuss about the con composite function. Yeah. So, this is it in today's video. My name is Shah Manavat. I will see you in the next lecture where we are going to discuss composite function. Again, another concept builder video.